Hi everyone, it's Kieran here at Magical Traveller. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we are on board the beautiful Resilient Lady and I just thought I'd give you a little cabin tour and have a little look around a sea terrace on board Virgin Voyages. Now, if you've seen any of our other videos or you've sailed with Virgin before on their other lady ships, you'll notice there are some subtle differences between how things look here on board Resilient Lady. They have added some more Grecian-inspired tweaks, so keep an eye out for them and I'll point them out for the ones that I've spotted at least anyway, but let me know if you spot some that I maybe have missed. Um, but this is going to be a sea terrace balcony, so this is going to be kind of the lead-in balcony category where you're going to have that amazing hammock on the balcony as well for you. Um, and this is what the majority of the cabins are on board Virgin Voyages. All their lady ships are identical in layout. So if you kind of see this cabin, you like the look of this cabin, you can also find the same type of cabin on board all their other ships. Just as I mentioned, there's a couple of extra tweaks on board Resilient Lady that are inspired by Greece, which is the area that she's sailing in during the summer months. So come on, have a little look around. So... Just to orientate you, that's the door we've just come into now. And then you've got then this little wardrobe area. Now, this is one of the first changes. You've got a slightly different curtain. Again, it's really subtle, but it's taking a bit more of a kind of Grecian inspiration um, just to have that kind of red and white pattern on it as well, which you'll see throughout the rest of the cabin as well. So you've got that. That's how you kind of close the curtain on your wardrobe and then you've got all this wardrobe space here um you do sometimes find that if you check in you've got um, a limited number of hand hangers just speak to your room attendant they will always sort you out with more we've asked for more and then more again as long as we have lots of different outfits to change into for the different parties on board now you do have this storage shelf at the top as well this gets used for different things every sailing so usually this is where i put dirty clothes i kind of put them Dirty, clean, that type of thing, but it varies. But you've got this storage space at the top for kind of heavier items if you wanted to. Uh, we tend to use it for kind of like, you know, lighter wear, pool wear, things like that, and dirty laundry at the top as well. Now, something to make you aware of, these is going to be where the lights are when you come into the cabin. So this is how you kind of turn on all the lights when you first get into the cabin. It is kind of a bit anti-intuitive when you first come in. You've got to know that it's there, but you get used to it after a few days. Um, and then this is very important. This is your kind of do not disturb light and also your room service light. So when you leave the cabin as well, the best way to let the cabin attendants know that you're ready for your room to be serviced is to turn on this blue light. And it puts a little light outside the cabin for them to note that you're no longer in the cabin and you're very happy for them to come and kind of clean your room. Now, just to give you a sense of space as well, I've left my suitcase here. We are on our last night on board here now on our seven-night seven sailing. So we've started lightly packing up, all the kind of dirty clothes have gone in there. So the cabin's a little bit tighter than it normally would, um, but... I have left things out because we are still using it. So if you do see any rubbish or water stains or things like that, please do forgive us. We are currently still staying in this cabin. And I also like to show you what the cabins look like as they're being used as well. Um, but just to show, there's plenty of space here to put your suitcases. However, and you can just see there as well, Phil's cabin is under the bed. Mine has been under the bed. I've just brought it out now and left it there for ease just so I can kind of put things into it as we go along the next couple of days. But there's plenty of room under the bed as well to store a large suitcase if you needed to. Coming back to the wardrobe though, again, you've got this little handy unit here, which this can also be used then for kind of um, your cabin bag if you needed to, to unpack that or to store stuff on top of it. And then you have this storage shelf here, which I usually use for my shoes that I'm using daily, um, but also as well, you've got these little bags. There is a hairdryer in there in the top one. Um, however, again, sometimes I use this for kind of smaller laundry as well. So socks and underwear, things like that. Um, but you can use it for whatever you want, t-shirts, swimwear, towels, all that type of stuff. Then coming across, then you've got this wardrobe. So there's a little kind of leather handle on there. Just open the wardrobe, but then as well, this is where you're going to find your life vests. This is where the full length mirror is, where I greet you at the beginning. Hello. Um, and then you've got kind of loads of different um, shelves on here as well then. So this is where your towels are stored if you want to take towels to the pool deck. However, there are towels on the pool deck as well. So don't feel like you have to take these if you forget them. They're just extra towels for you if you want to take them out with you to port or around the ship, things like that. And this is where you're going to find your safe. I never use my safe. I store stuff in it, but I never lock it just because I'm really forgetful with codes and numbers. So I just don't bother. But we just use it to store things like passports and things like that. Another shelf there then as well, which is our uh, toiletries cabinet, I guess. Just because we tra travel with a lot of toiletries, just sunscreen protection, things like that. And then you've got these four shelves here as well, which I tend to use for my underwear. But again, everyone stores different things. You can store jewellery in them, small things like that as well. And then another one at the bottom where there are currently spare towels and linen in there for us. But you can... Take that out if you wanted to and use that for other stuff. Then just coming across then, you've got the thermostat controls here for the aircon. Really easy, up or down, straightforward, simple, warm, cool, really easy. Aircon's good, not the best aircon on a cruise ship, but we've never had any problems in getting the room kind of to the right temperature for our comfort level anyway. So that's where you control it from here. I'll show you the tablet in a second. So this is a very smart cabin. Um, I'll get to the tablet in a second. But again, this is the toilet light then, bathroom light. So again, forgive any water stains, dirty towels, things like that we are currently using. 
this cabin. Um, but you can see here, then you've got this kind of storage shelf here, then for storing kind of things if you want to. So this is where we normally put toothpaste, filberts, beard oil on there, things like that. Um, then you've got this bath wash unit. Hand towels have normally been in there, so like makeup towels, hand towels, things like that, they've been in there for us this sailing. It's different every time you come on board, depends on your cabin host. But again, then you can see kind of trash down the bottom or rubbish. And then I normally store my toiletry bag at the bottom, so we're not looking at it every time I come in and see all the toiletries I've got. Spare loo roll and things like that as well, plus then space underneath if you need to as well. It's drying rail there as well, so towels can go on there. That's usually where they are when you come in, but we just normally hook them on the back here. There are no... Um, Gowns, I can't think of the word for them, dressing gowns. There's no kind of like um, bathrobes for you in these cabins. You've got to go rock star level to get them included. But if you bring your own, that's where you could hook them as well. But we normally just put our wet towels there as well. Again, lights in the in the vanity mirror as well. So if you're getting ready, you've got kind of lots of light to kind of get ready and see what you're doing. And then my favorite feature of the bathrooms is beautiful rainfall shower head. Honestly, the water pressure on board is amazing. It's probably one of the better um, showers on a cruise ship. But then you also have a handy hand wand as well if you need to as well to access areas you've got that and again these beautiful red flower toiletries they've got kind of like a bit of a peppery ocean scent um beautiful i love love the toiletries on board to the point that we really bring a lot of our own just because the ones on board are so good and they leave my skin feeling really nice and i have don't have problematic skin but my skin's not the happiest with a lot of toiletries on board cruise ships so um i tend to get on fine with these um obviously if you've got sensitive skin bring your own but again, really spacious shower. I'm just shy of six foot. No issues whatsoever in fitting this. And again, really nice glass door as well, which is a nice feature. Now, coming through into the main cabin, this is obviously where you're going to be spending a lot of your time. You do have your Virgin Voyages bed. The reason why I say Virgin Voyages bed is because it's a little bit different than other cruise line beds. Now, you can't see it here. And by default, they do set them up this way as a bed. When the brand first launched, they did have a feature where on the first day you come on board, this was set up as a sofa. So you can roughly, actually you can't see it on this bed as much, you can see this roughly two kind of twi um, twin beds together. The way this works, however, is this will become an L-shaped sofa. So this bed here can rotate and go over to the side there and become a sofa during the daytime. They have stopped offering it as a default, um, just because a lot of people don't like it, actually. They prefer to just keep it as a bed and leave the room as it is. However, if you want to bring friends around and host for a few pre-drinks, you can ask your stateroom host to turn the bed around into a sofa during the daytime if you'd like to. But I'll be honest, it rarely ever happens anymore. But it's just so you know that it's possible. If you are sleeping in a twin configuration, so you've got sharing friends, the way they will do it is that is becomes one of your beds. So you've got your bed here. And then the second bed then will, this rotates around and becomes an actual second bed with a headboard as well then kind of where those two pillows are to give you some sort of divide between where your heads go um, there are also configurations where you can have a four so the four will be similar to this where you'll have a double bed here you'll have a single bed going that way and then there is also pullman beds available in some category cabins as well whereby there's a bunk bed basically in the ceiling so you can get four in this cabin obviously it's down to you about how comfortable you'd be having four in this smaller space but that's a great way to save some money to get four people in a cabin rather than booking two cabins um, for two doubles as for the features in the cabin, you've got these little side tables on this side of it here. So if you've got kind of drinks in the nighttime, Phil always has water with him. So that's where he kind of pops his water, pops his phone at night. This is soft, but it's a bit hard as well. It's weird to explain, but it's firm. It's not complete foam, if that makes sense. So you can also store, you know, light things on this as well. But they added these in after the first couple of months just because people were complaining about drinks spilling off, things like that. So you've got that as well if you want to have a bedside drink with you. This is then going to be more light controlled as well to control the lights around the room. And then you're going to have your American socket and two USB sockets on this side of the bed as well. Now, these lights, these ones here are manual controlled. So these are going to be your night lights. They are click on and off. They're the only lights that are not controllable via the app, um, on the app, but by the tablet. So these ones have to be manually turned on and off, but they are designed to be your night lights, reading lights type of thing. Um, then you've got this beautiful bulkhead here then with the under um, lighting here as well then which is going to be the majority of the room lighting mood lighting this is color changeable which i'll show you in a second via the app tv is great you get loads of on-demand tv included for free as well so if you kind of watch films or tv series when you're kind of relaxing in your cabin you could totally do that again there is a remote control but it's also controllable by the tablet which i will get to in a second just going to come back then to show you then this is going to be another full length mirror this is probably the bigger one so again if you're checking your outfit before you head out for the lights this is going to be the best place to do that as i mentioned before small touches but those cushions are slightly different to what you're going to find on scarlet and valiant lady just again slight um, color changes and pattern changes to fit in with those grecian details on board resilient lady 
Then this is going to be where your kind of room control lights are going to be then as well for people when they sleep in this side of the bed or if the bed's in the, um, what's the word, twin, sorry, configuration with the bed going this way. That's where the night, the night lights for this side are going to be. And then equally power is going to be over this side as well. So it's a bit of a pain if you are sleeping in this side of the bed. It does mean you either have to have a long cable or just leave your phone further away from you. Um, but you've got two USB sockets here and then also a USA socket as well if you need to plug and charge things in. Then you get this beautiful, gorgeous tray. Now, if you've been on the other ladyships as well, you will see this is normally a circular tray. It depends on whether it's in your cabin or not. People have been taking them off the ship, so they're not always available. But this is a really nice tray as well. So I've been using this really as a gadget store also. All my gadgets just go in here so they're nice and tidy out of the way, but I got them to hand if I need them. But you've got that tray there for drinks if you want to take drinks out of the balcony. Got that tray feature there as well. Now, they have a added a handle to this. Now, on Scarlet and Valiant, this doesn't have a handle, but it is usable as a storage drawer as well. So this time around, to make it a bit easier, there is now a handle there to kind of make sure that it's easier to get into. In the past, you could open it if you knew it did open, but it wasn't really obvious that you could use that as a storage drum tray if you needed to. But again, more storage space there if you need it. Then just going over, you do have this chair as well. So all the cabins have this chair and then you have this kind of floating table as well. So this can be used obviously for this side if you want to have kind of a drink in bed at night. Um, so you've got a tray to kind of eat or store stuff in the nighttime. I usually put like my phone and tablet and things like that on this at the nighttime. Just put it out slightly so I'm not going to hit it over. And then that's kind of my bedside table on this side. But it can also be used as a desk. So if you're sat at this chair, you can use it as a bit of a desk feature. Um, or it could just be a floating table somewhere in the room. Then you've got the kind of main desk area, vanity area. So this is going to be then where you've got your footstool. So you can kind of just sit on that freely or use that to sit at the table area if you wanted to. Now you do have this beautiful mirror, which I absolutely love. I think it's really cool. And you will see there is a bit of a vinyl duochrome effect on it. Now on the other ships, it's a bit more obvious. This changes color as you kind of walk around the room. On Resilient, it's really subtle. It's kind of got this really dark black color and there's an ever so subtle, and honestly, it doesn't show up on camera. It doesn't really show up on light person, but it in person, sorry, but it does change color ever so slightly. So this Ascent colour is a slightly different colour on Resilient Lady. But again, you're going to have the colour change in LEDs behind it, which again, I'll show you what that does in a second. Cut to one of the bigger changes is going to be the bedside light, or the table lamp even. So on Resilient, you're going to have again this wicker one to tie into the Grecian theme that we've mentioned on board Resilient Lady. And then this can be controlled here with a simple on or off button switch as well, but equally as well can be controlled via the tablet in the cabin. So if I can get this turn on, and every time I go to showcase this, it never wants to turn on. There you go. So this is going to be a tablet. This is how you control movies. So you can go through, scroll all the different movies available on board. Forgive me, sorry for jamming that in your face. But again, our airplanes are classic. So you just literally push the button on here, hit watch TV, and then what will happen in a second is the TV will boot up and then your film will begin. He says, while it's having a think. But what's really cool as well is you then have all the different cinema modes as well on board, or different lighting modes. So if I hit activate cinema mode here, the lights will dim around the cabin as well, and you get this kind of really subtle night light from the back. And then automatically then as well, the curtains will draw for you. So you've kind of got that perfect nighttime cinema mode, but you've got a little bit of low-level light, which is recommended for your eyes to so not be sat in complete darkness when you're watching TV. So again, what a really lovely feature. Turn it off again just by hitting deactivate, and the room resets back to how it was. Let me stop that film so I don't get copyrighted on this one. Cut that off. But then you've also then got as well your room controls as well. So you can totally control all, all of the lights as well. So the ceiling lights can be controlled from the tablet from bed. The desk lights can be controlled as well. So if I want to turn that on or off, I can do that from the tablet. Same with the ambient lights, which is going to be all the LEDs around the strips. You can't set the color by this way, but you can turn them on and off this way. Equally as well, thermostat controls. So if you want to control the aircon, you can do that from here as well. Um, and then if you kind of push up here, so when you're in kind of room controls, you push up, you're going to get all the different modes. Now, you're going to get some fun, playful ones in the typical Virgin Voyages playful manner. So hit get it on. You're going to get a slight sexy light mode and a bit of sexy music. So again, a bit of fun. One that we use more than we probably should admit is Hangover. 
which again just means the lights are a bit dim so if you are recovering after a heavy night out in the manor then you do have a really cool fun hangover mode um there's loads in there that's pumped up there's photo shoot is a good one as well so we tend to use photo shoot as a bit of a standard one because it basically means that there's a bit of light in the room but it's not going to be too bright so if you're looking for kind of an easy quick turn the lights on open the blinds photo shoot is going to be a good one to go to equally as well you can use this for services as well so this is where you're going to be if you want to get kind of fresh towels you want your cabin cleaned you want the bed changed you want to water more water ice you want your laundry picked up report maintenance issues again you're going to do that under services um so again can all be controlled here and then just at the top then your shortcuts as well turn the tv on and off turn on or off all the lights and open and close the curtains on the balcony as well so that's all going to be done there just to quickly then show you the power. Sorry if you can't see it. We've currently got, like, I think every device on the planet charging at the moment. So you do have two USB power sockets there on the left. One of them is going to be used for the tablet. You can unplug it, but just obviously bear in mind your tablet then won't be charging to control the room. Um, then you can have a USA socket followed by a European socket, which forgive the massive, we're British, so we have to basically convert everything over. Um, so we've got a power adapter in there, but you do have then a European socket in there as well, as well as then another U uh, US socket as well. So plenty of storage space on the table and as well by the bedsides then going across here then you do have this little storage unit on the side so um this is where we put, put gadget central ultimately it's all our cables because we have all our work laptops and all our gadgets our um, drones things like that with us um so to charge all the batteries and all that type of stuff we have cables galore but then you do have your mini fridge as well then as well so you've got this nice little wooden veneer um door that kind of i think this is actually not veneer no it is veneer um is it I don't actually know. Feels like actual wood, actually. Um, but then you've also got the mini fridge as well, then. So we've got a couple of soft drinks. We came on board this ship, which we still haven't drunk because soft drinks are included on the voyage. So uh, we didn't drink them. So we'll probably take them off the ship with us tomorrow and use them as we're on our way to the airport. But again, you can purchase drinks on board, order soft drinks from room service, put them in there if you want to, or if you bring stuff on, you can put that in there as well. Now, another thing I've mentioned, essential drinks are included, so that includes your water as well. So in your cabin, you will find these two carafes of water. Um, they will be still and sparkling when you first arrive. Just let your room host know your preference, whether you want one of each or both sparkling or both still. We always go with still, so um, just request that. And again, that'll get replenished. Usually in the kind of morning when you've left your cabin, they'll refresh it. And then once before um, in the evening, they'll also refresh it again for you. Now, if you are a bit of a technophile or technophobe even, and you don't like technology, there is still a traditional phone as well for you. If you wanted to, you can then call medical, say to services or anyone like that if you need to get in touch with somebody and prefer to do it over the phone. However, you can do all your say to services requests or kind of guest services requests via the VV app on your mobile phone um, or via the tablet as well. I find the VV app is really great for speaking to say to services, just start a chat with them and they come back quite quickly as well. Then you've got more controls here then as well. So this is going to be lighting, but this is also going to be how you open the blinds on the cabin as well. Um, so just you can either just slightly pull them and then the motors will kick in and finish them off for you. Same wise with opening them. If you just slightly pull them slightly ajar, the motors will take over and do the rest for you. But again, they're all controllable via the tablet, via the wall controls, things like that. Second touch you're going to find, or next touch you're going to find for kind of what's different between the other ladies' ships and this one, Resilience, is you're going to have this woven net curtain, basically, for kind of blocking some of the light and giving you a bit of privacy. It's a slightly different pattern. Just check out our Resilient, sorry, our Valiant and Scarlet room tours if you want to see how different this is. But this is one of the bigger changes as well, is this curtain. So again, this isn't manually, this isn't um, automatically controlled. You do have to pull this one apart. But that's a really beautiful touch. Then you've got your sea terrace balcony, which is going to be the highlight, obviously, of booking a sea terrace on board Virgin Voyages. Loads of space. So you do have your kind of deck furniture. So you've got your two chairs and your uh, drinks table if you wanted to. So great for kind of having breakfast. If you want to have kind of Prosecco on here or champagne, you can totally do that. And then as well, you've got these beautiful, gorgeous hammocks as well, which I really, really love. Now, these are all hand-woven by women in Thailand as well. So all the money goes back to a really good, sustainable charity as well called Yellow Leaf to support kind of women who work in Thailand. Um, so really, really great to kind of have that social responsibility element when you are relaxing as well, enjoying a beautiful sea day on board Resilient Lady. So then, just going to quickly take you back inside. One last look at the room going this way. And again, guys, I hope you have found this cabin tour um, useful. 
If you are interested in ever booking a Virgin Voyager sailing and you live in the UK, then definitely get in touch with us. We are Virgin Voyager specialists. We love sailing Virgin Voyagers and working with them. We have a really great relationship with Virgin Voyagers and always have special offers available at all times as well. Um, so other than that, guys, all the best. Definitely check out all the other content. We've got food reviews. We've got loads of stuff on our website as well about kind of how the bar tab works, all the entertainment on board, the, all the different Virgin Voyager ships. We definitely, definitely are Virgin Voyager specialists and love helping people set sail the Virgin way. Other than that, guys, all the best. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.